Yesterday, the GameStop hearings, I noticed the Washington Post this morning gives it essentially zero play. What happens next after that testimony? Well, first, I think uh, Mr. Tenev, uh, the CEO at Robinhood Market, certainly apologized for the fact that they had inadequate collateral on deposit with their clearing firms and DTCC, the Depository Trust, which then put their customers in a bad position in the midst of a bubble. That was a key element. In terms of the equity market plumbing, I thought the hearing demonstrated that it worked as we expected it to. But I think Maxine Waters, our chairman of House Financial Services, is going to have additional capital to markets hearings. And from the discussion yesterday, Tom, I think she'll focus on payment for order flow, also reassess uh, short selling, what have been the changes since the 2004, yep. 2010 changes. These hearings, how can we make them better? Do you think they would be better if they were closed door? And I'm here as a journalist talking about less transparency, but it just seems to me that sometimes these hearings become theater and lawmakers, your colleagues, turn around and make it that. They might have some pre-existing bias, some song and dance. They want to clip the video and send it out to constituents. How do we make this better, more useful? Well, that tone is set at the top by the committee chairman. Maxine Waters, in this case, uh, loves clickbait. And uh, she also yet loves, uh, Jonathan, to use the full committee. Here's the way to do this, in my view. If you use the subcommittee on capital markets, which is, uh, I believe, chaired by Brad Sherman, you have a smaller number of people. You can spend the same amount of time, but you can multiple rounds of questions. And it's a way to have a much more constructive dialogue on Capitol Hill. But yeah. our chair has elected not to do that in some of these high-profile matters.